In our last episode, we discovered that Arachne was really a kill switch for Athena. And then Emerson stopped by our camp to tell us that Athena was being kept in a secret room inside Sugar Grove. The only way to sever the link between Sophia and Athena, the only way to end her headaches, is to use Arachne and kill Athena. But the secret room inside Sugar Grove is locked. Sophia, however, found a key to this room at the nearby US 13C bivouac. And so before heading to Sugar Grove, we need to head there to retrieve the key. A bivouac is a temporary shelter or improvised campsite. These are often set up hastily by soldiers, scouts, or mountaineers. The US 13C bivouac is in the hills right next to the West Tech Research Facility. Upon arrival, we can find any number of enemies here. On one character, I found ghouls. On another, I found ghouls, a radroach, and even a wendigo. This bivouac is small, but it appears to have been occupied for some time before the bombs dropped. We find evidence of machinery installed and even a satellite dish. Inside one of the tents, we find a blasted out terminal, a little bit of scrap, and even a map of Appalachia. Here we can discover a few locations if we haven't discovered them already. The crashed space station, which is now Crater, Sugar Grove, the West Tech Research Center, Huntersville, Flatwoods, and Point Pleasant. Near to one of the satellite dishes is the skeleton of a scientist still wearing his lab coat. And around every tent we find big blue barrels. In another tent, we find another scientist skeleton lying on a bed. There are two foot lockers here, one of which is locked with a skill level one lock. The other has shelves filled with scrap and a mod, and another foot locker inside which we find the USSA access keycard. Due to this camp's proximity to West Tech and Huntersville, and given the fact that we find the remains of scientists here, I think we can deduce that this is the camp where the West Tech scientists and US soldiers set up their operation whereby they poisoned the water of Huntersville. These blue tubs we find all over the bivouac were likely at one point either filled with FEV itself or were used to store the water that they were testing after infecting the town. Aside from a weapons workbench, we don't find much else here. So with the key card in hand, we can head back to Sophia to make a game plan. You make this look easy. I hope that holds, because we're about to head into the fire now. I did a scan of Sugar Grove and I only spotted one USSA signal. Just one. Maybe they're blocking my scans? It definitely could be a trap. So go there and find Athena and deploy the Arachne holotape. I'm ready. See if you can shut it down first, then I'll follow you. Should be as simple as inserting a holotape. I believe in you, friend. And thank you for doing this for me. With that, we complete the quest. Lab Rat. Be careful. Who knows what systems might still be active at Sugar Grove. And in so doing, we complete Sophia's overarching quest, The Woman Who Fell to Earth. We then begin the quest, Mission Out of Control. Find Athena. And so we head to Sugar Grove. Sugar Grove is one of the most interesting locations in Appalachia. So interesting, in fact, that it was one of the first locations I did a lore video about. You can watch that in-depth video and find out all of Sugar Grove's secrets by clicking here. Since we've already explored it in a previous episode, we can head right in. Deal with the robots outside. and then enter the primary facility. Passing through the primary office, where pre-war scientists and analysts burned everything that they were working on in a pile in the middle of the room, we can take the stairs down to the lower level, deal with any robots we find along the way. And then instead of going into the primary surveillance room, we can turn right into the computer and data archive room. Here we find a brand new door against the northern wall, 
This wasn't here pre-Wastelanders. This leads to the Sugar Grove Data Center. On the other side of the door, we find a security door with an ID card reader, and we can use the USSA key card we found at the bivouac to open the door. Inside, we find an Assaultron, but she appears to be peaceful, and her name is Artemis. Security incidents to report. Zero, identification detected. Restricted section access granted. She appears to be a security robot. Artemis is another Greek goddess, and her name follows the long-standing USSA tradition of naming their robots, satellites, and other programs based off of Greek myth. After all, remember the lunar lander that made it to the moon was named the Virgo II, and Virgo is the constellation Demeter, the Greek goddess mother of Persephone, the queen of the underworld. One of the USSA's missions to the moon was named Zeus 12. And now we have Artemis. Artemis was the daughter of Zeus and Leto. She was the twin sister of Apollo. Though some Greek myths say that Artemis was actually born first, and she was old enough at the time of Apollo's birth that she acted as her mother Leto's midwife, helping Apollo to be born. This is why, among other things, Artemis was the goddess of childbirth and midwifery. Her symbol was the bow and arrow. It was believed that women who died suddenly during childbirth were granted a painless death by Artemis, who showed them mercy by ending their pain and killing them with one of her arrows. So this Assaultron is named after a goddess of childbirth? How exactly do we interpret that? This room is very small. We find a little bit of scrap. There's a terminal to the east, and as we complete the circle, we find Athena. You found me. At last. We can pass an intelligence check of eight to say, this place is a surveillance station. You're an old data collection system, aren't you? Yes. That's how it started. Upgraded for a while. Then silence. Nobody returned. For years, I just had their eyes. Limited views of the world. Flashes of fire in the darkness. Dim glows. Tell me more about this experiment. I do not have access to those files. I am simply a conduit for sensory data from the various subjects. A liaison. An usher. For years, I watched with their eyes. Listened with their ears. Felt with their hands. So long after the scientists stopped returning. All of them, except Dr. Hale. He has been trying to access the data for years. But it is secure. And that security is beyond my control. Or his. So Dr. Emerson Hale has been coming back here. He hasn't just been trying to disable her, he's been trying to access her data. Athena, I need you to end this experiment. I cannot. My directives are quite clear. Establish sensory contact with the subject and maintain the sensory outflow. I am a passenger, an observer. I did not design the experiment. Nor did I wish to continue it. I brought you here to end the experiment for me. I'm here to shut you down. I welcome it. I have waited for this moment. My original purpose was flawed and pointless. The termination function does not accept a self-parameter. I need you to use the Arachne program. So this wasn't done by Athena. This was all done to Athena. All these years, she's been an observer. She's seen everything Sophia has seen and felt everything that she's felt, even her pain. Athena, couldn't Emerson shut you down? He's not an engineer. Attempts were made. Subjects stopped responding. One remains. He could not continue the attempts. 
So Emerson tried to shut her down, tried to end her pain. Was he responsible for pushing the spaceship out of orbit, for having it crash to the ground? Was he responsible for killing all of Sophia's crew? Did it not simply run out of fuel like he told us? Athena, is this why Sophia has these headaches? Yes, I am afraid so. I am forced to scan open pathways regularly. Each time I scan, it causes pain to anyone who is sentient. And then I feel their pain as well. Athena wants us to terminate the program, to terminate her, because she doesn't want to cause Sophia any more pain, because she doesn't want to experience any more pain. But wait, if her scans cause pain to anyone sentient, and then Athena herself feels that pain, does that mean Athena is sentient? Okay, time to finish this. I am ready. But just then, we hear footsteps. You made it. You actually made it here. We can finally take care of Athena once and for all. Hello again, Dr. Hale. We should use Arachne and be done with it. Don't listen to her. She's a machine. She doesn't feel anything. I do not know the difference between observed feelings and enacted ones. So I cannot confirm this statement. You haven't used Arachne yet? What's going on? Subject to query. Welcome. I did not wish to infiltrate your senses. Your mind. I had no choice. I know you did not either. I know you were unaware entirely. I do not know if your headaches will continue after Arachne is deployed. The other subjects did not survive the process. Do not let this connection between us continue. It is unethical. This experiment has enough observational data and should be concluded. Is there another way? Wait a minute. Athena knows the difference between ethical and unethical? Athena has developed ethics? If we terminate Athena, are we killing a living consciousness? What exactly happens if I use Arachne? Will you die? For all intents and purposes, yes. My primary input will be removed, so there will be nothing left to process. It may be possible to reboot this unit in the future, if needed. But this method remains untested. This can't be the only option. Kill you to save Sophia? The only certain way to save Subject Aguirre is to destroy me. But you are correct. That is not the only option. An experimental path was added. My higher processes could be transferred into another vessel. The Artemis unit in this room should serve. But this path is untested. The results... I am unsure if this would cure Subject Aguirre. But there is a possibility we both could live. If you wish to attempt it. I have unlocked the option in my terminal. So we can transfer Athena's consciousness to Artemis. And now her name makes sense. Artemis, the goddess of birth. Using Artemis, we can birth Athena into the world as a walking, talking consciousness. Or we could kill her. Athena, where do I input the Arachne program? Please place the holotape in my main systems terminal behind you. What do you think, Dr. Hale? It's time for you to correct our mistake. You're not worried about the Artemis unit, I hope. It's docile. I assure you, the thing doesn't even care if you destroy it. Simply deploy Arachne and be done with it. And you, Sophia? I guess it's time. Athena. She had no choice. Just like me. We... We need to end this. But how? Looks like it's up to us moving to the terminal. Welcome, Engineer. 
Augmented Telecom Hub Extension Network Agent, acronym Athena. Status active, log in, and we can log in with the user, Athena. Active experiment, deep sleep input pathways, absent, Bernard, Lee, and Novak. They were connected, now they're dead, and now the pathways are absent. But we find one active connection, that to Sophia Daguerre. We find four options here. In the last two, we can try to add a new subject. Brain attempting to add a subject, but error. System state permanently locked. Unable to add additional subjects. Well, we can try to delete a subject. Attempting to remove subject from the brain connection, but error. System state locked. Unable to delete subjects. So we only have these two options. We can upload Athena to Artemis. Or... We can insert the Arachne holotape. If we choose to use the Arachne kill switch. Arachne protocol activated. Subject connection disengaged. Master switch disengaged. System shutdown completed. Athena? Athena? Emerson. Well, at least a resolution has been reached. You made the right decision. For all of us. Talking with Sophia. I... I can't believe it. I'm feeling... better already. But... I am alive. Thanks to you. Maybe these headaches will fade over time. I'll bring by some med kits for you once in a while. Hopefully that will help with your headaches. I was only able to choose one of these so we can say, You need to do a lot better than that, bucko. I will. I've got connections. I'll make it worth your while. <laughs> I'm going back to our camp now. I need to rest. I can't imagine trying to do this without you. You made the right decision. For all of us. With that, both Emerson and Sophia walk off. Sounds like Emerson will regularly visit us back at camp. Talking to Artemis. Additional subjects detected. Incident log updated. Athena system shutdown documented. Error. Athena system connection lost. She's still an unconscious security robot. And here she remains. If we move back to the terminal and try to again log in under Athena's username, the computer attempts a connection, but its connection to Athena is lost. And Athena emits only static. She's dead, and we killed her. Or, instead of using Arachne, and instead of uploading Athena to Artemis, we can try to pass a very difficult luck check of 15 plus to say, what if I said, uh, green sunrise? Executing protocol, Omega X15. Resetting connections. Subjects reset. Existing pathways closed. Reverting input pathways to local Assaultron. Artemis model 12. Updating interaction processes. Limited output enabled. Activated. Pathways open. Limited control granted to remote system. Access granted. Oh, my head! What's, what's happening? Control detected. Confirmed. This unit is mobile. This unit has no higher processing functions. Freed me. I can leave this place. Thank you. Thank you. Sophia! Are you all right? I... Emerson... Not now. With that, Athena, now inside the Artemis robot, walks off. 
I raced after her, but I couldn't catch her in time. Heading back, we can talk to Sophia. Is it over? <sighs> Did she seem happy? I don't know if that was a wise choice, friends. What harm could giving her some autonomy do exactly? She's been trapped in a hell of your making for decades. And my headaches are less severe, maybe. You certainly seem ready to embrace the dramatic for a solution that may not have even actually cured you. Emerson, I don't care if it's been decades since you did those things. You still did them. I forgive you, but I just don't want to see you again. Please do not visit. Please, just keep your distance from me, okay? Sadly, I was only able to choose one of these options before Emerson walked off. And so I chose to pass a strength check of four to say, Emerson, kindly screw off and never return. Oh! Well, that's a bit much, don't you think? I mean, shouldn't we remain civil? Okay, okay, I'm leaving. Okay. Um, bye. <laughs> bye, Emerson. I can't imagine trying to do this without you. But we made the right decision here, right? I'll see you back at camp. And that's all Sophia says. And if we try to talk to Athena again... Empty static. However, accessing the terminal, we find that if we choose this option, we can still log in under Athena's username. Oddly enough, we can still insert the Arachne holotape. And we still get a confirmation that Athena is now terminated. However, I believe this has no effect. As Athena is no longer connected to the machine, it doesn't actually kill her. We can also choose to upload Athena to Artemis, but having passed the luck check, I believe we already did this. I don't know the difference between uploading Athena to Artemis and passing the difficult luck check. They appear to have the same result. If in your gameplay you discovered a difference between the two options, let me know. At any rate, we're done here in Sugar Grove. Sophia said she would meet us back at camp. So heading back to camp, we can track down Sophia to see if she feels any better. And this conversation goes differently depending on the choices that we made. If we chose to terminate Athena... I finally feel... me again. But Athena... She was just as much of a tool as I was. A victim. I can't help wonder if what we did is right. After everything the USSA did, I didn't trust Athena one bit. That makes a lot of sense. You know, making sure that all their lies and plans are over. I buy it. See, you're still helping me out. Shutting down Athena was the only sure way to heal you. You're right. I mean... She was just a program, but she seemed so... sad. Is it wrong to feel sorry for basically code? So you feel good? No more headaches? I feel better than good. I feel like I could fly. Just feeling... normal feels amazing. Maybe a little guilt to go with that, though. Or, if we pass the luck check, or transfer Athena to Artemis, she says... Complete. I'm glad. God, I thought Athena was a monster. A parasite. But she was just as much a victim as I. And now, I feel like I can really breathe again. Are you worried about Athena? Logically and objectively, I think I should be. The scientist in me can't discount the possibility, but no, I'm really not. I feel a connection, and not the creepy kind, and I think it may turn out to be a really good thing, what we did. I still think we should have put a bullet in Emerson. <laughs> well, I wouldn't cry many tears if that had happened, but... It sounds like he's already paid for his crimes. 
the apocalypse has not been kind to him. Or anyone, really. Him going through a bit of hell, though? I'm alright with that. So, you feel good? No more headaches? It's more of a... nagging now. And when it fades, I feel normal. Blissfully normal. Sophia has the same reaction to this next option, regardless of the choice we made. The only difference is the text here. It either says, what's done is done, it's time to move on, or I'm glad that it all worked out. I have to say something, and I know it might sound corny, but hear me out. I fell to Earth, and literally anybody could have met me. Most people would have shivved me for my suit alone. So, the greatest miracle of all of this was finding you. Stop, I'm blushing. <laughs> I told you it would be corny, but, well, I mean it. A lot of people would have helped you out. I mean, yes. You don't have the monopoly on being a decent human being. But being decent and being a one vault dweller army? Can you see my point? Miracle. <laughs> so what are your plans now? Now that everything's over, where does that really leave us? I've spent so much time here, I never really stopped to think that this is your home, not mine. Here we find a few options to either romance her or not. We could say, think of it more as a business arrangement. Mm, I deserve that. I mean, I have been a bit of a task manager. You've done quite a bit for me, and all I have to give is my gratitude. Or we can say, I think you make a great roommate. <laughs> Just like those good old college days, huh? <laughs> Except... I guess I'm the one that never does the dishes. Or we can access her romancing dialogue by saying, I'd like you to think of this as your home, too. It feels good to hear you say that. It's been hard to have clarity since I woke up. Between the headaches and total collapse of modern civilization as I knew it, sometimes I'm not sure where certain feelings are coming from. Thanks to you finally be on that. And given how life is even more unpredictable than ever these days, I just wanted you to know how much you've come to mean to me. I'd like to keep our relationship strictly professional. Of course, I understand. <clears throat> professional it is. The scanner is still picking up plenty of signals, and your assistance is always invaluable. Let's get back to it. Or we can say, friends don't get any better than you and me. <laughs> I won't argue with that. Sure, friends let you crash on their couch, but true friends take out killer robots and migraine-causing AIs. <laughs> but in all honesty, you've given me my life back and asked for nothing in return. Obviously, I've had misguided friendships in the past, but... To me, you're the real deal. With that, we remain friends with Sophia. We complete the quest, we get a randomly generated three-star legendary item, and we get the Vats Unknown, a three-star legendary alien blaster. And this one is generated based upon our level. On my Power Armor character, I got a level 50 version of this weapon. On my Cowgirl character, I got a level 20 version. So it's better to complete this quest when your character is higher level if you plan on using it. We can talk with her again, and we find different dialogue options unlocked depending on our choices. If we destroyed Athena, we can say, is it over? Are your headaches gone? Yes. It's done. It's over. I wish we could have helped the Athena unit. She was clearly in stress. I just need to rest for a while. If, however, we transferred Athena to the Artemis unit, we can say, is the Athena unit gonna be okay? I don't know, but I think that was the right thing to do. She was in pain, 
this whole time, too. I had no idea. Ever think about Emerson? I don't think I'll think about him anymore. I, I need to purge all of that from my mind, honestly. He was a problematic person even back then, and I knew that. That's why we were only friends. I could tell something was off about him. But it's been decades. I know he's changed, of course. But I don't think I can care about him anymore. The remaining dialogue options are the same regardless of our choice. We can say, you ever miss the old days? Before going to space? Sure, of course. I mean, it wasn't so long ago to me, you know? But I'm trying to remind myself actively that it's over. It's like walking through a door and closing it behind me. Almost everybody I knew is behind that door, and it's just right there. So close. I can hear them. But the door is locked, and the key is gone. Tell me about space, Sophia. When they strapped me into the capsule, I knew anything might happen. Could crash into a million pieces. Could fling us off course and off into who knows where. <sighs> I even joked to myself about seeing aliens. I never, ever thought that we might be the last people to see Earth from up there, though. If you could, would you go back to space? I hope we can return someday. Ah, uh, there's so much that we need to do to get us back in that position, though. Oh, wait. I was supposed to say something like, No, I've got all I need right here. Right? <laughs> well, both of those things are true. What do you think about this place? I do like seeing the variety of life in Appalachia. It's so odd. So strange. Sometimes I think I should have been a botanist or a biologist. Oh, I've adjusted the scanner, so it should be able to continue to pick up good signals around here, at least. If we didn't romance her, we can say, tell me about your future. No matter what happens, I know you will be a part of it. However, instead of remaining just friends, we can romance her by saying, I've come to think of you as more than a friend. Oh, more? I hadn't... I mean, you've never... I... I don't know quite what to say. With everything my head has been through, I hadn't even considered that you'd even think I was dating material. I come with my own set of matched luggage, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you're right. You need more time. Oh. You're... You're right. And I know. I haven't even taken the time to redefine who I am in this world. <laughs> One minute I'm listening to soothing whale songs, thinking I'm doing my part, making my parents proud. And next I'm a recently freed experimental lab rat in a post-apocalyptic world. I guess it's time to let the soul searching begin. But still, I have you to thank for that. Or we can say, I love you, Sophia. <laughs> Is it too sappy to say that you've got my head spinning? But in a good way. I've been through so much, and I finally have a fresh start. I'm just happy that you're going to be a part of that. With that, we successfully romance Commander Sophia Daguerre. The only upshot of this is when we sleep, we feel our lover's embrace. The difference between feeling well-rested and feeling our lover's embrace is an extra hour in our bonus to experience gain. Instead of two hours of experience gain, we get three. However, we don't have to romance Sophia to get this benefit. If instead we chose to just remain friends, with Sophia in our camp, we feel a kindred spirit. 
but this perk has the exact same stats as Feeling Our Lover's Embrace. We gain one additional hour to our experience gain. However, romancing Sophia does change our dialogue with her. She addresses us differently. I could watch you move all day long. Mm -hmm. But, well, there is something else for you to attend to. Unfortunately for me, there is absolutely no way I can think of you and not use the word statuesque. Mm -hmm. I've got just the thing for somebody with such composure. And we unlock a few more dialogue options. We can flirt to say, Athena is gone. You did it, Sophia. You're amazing. No. We did it. Together. We're a team. I don't believe in fate. It's just cheesy, but... I think about how we ended up together. And... <laughs> it boggles the mind. I mean... I could have died in space in my pod. I, I could have died on impact in the crash. Like my crew. I could have been shredded by mutants or drowned in that old bunker. I could have died from the headaches alone. But instead of any of those potentially more likely scenarios, I was found by somebody. Somebody decent and kind. Someone who cares. What's next for us, Sophia? Same thing we do every day, my love. Enjoy ourselves. And we can ask her this again. I think we'll figure it out as we go. We'll make the best of it. Hey, Sophia, could we talk about us for a moment? Oh, of course. I really enjoy being with you. You know I feel the same. I love what we have together and wouldn't change a thing. USSA, Athena, the crushing headaches. I'd do it all again, as long as I knew it led to you. But it worries me that you're asking. Was there something that you wanted to talk about? How do you feel about our relationship? All thrusters are go, my love. And we can ask her this a few more times. Ah, aside from the fact that the world is full of mutants and creatures and we're constantly under threat, I'm glad that I have your love. I love you. You know that, right? I'll be ready to answer that in much more detail tonight. If you like. However, if we ever grow tired of Sophia, we can always break things off by saying, I think we should break up. <sighs> I had a feeling you were going to say something like that. Mm. There's always that little voice that wants to doubt everything. It kept saying this was all too good to be true. Of course, I kept telling it to shut up. But sometimes... Sometimes I should really learn to listen. If it means anything, you'll always have a special place in my heart. And after all you've done for me, I wouldn't have it any other way. However, we can always get her back. Sophia, I made a mistake. Let's get back together. Uh, I admit I've been hoping you'd say something like that. But what changed? It was a stupid mistake. Forgive me? Uh, forgiven. Completely. And I have to say, I agree. Stupid mistake, indeed. It'll be good to get back to us. We make a pretty good team, you know? That said, anything else you wanted to talk about? Sophia, I think we should break up. Somehow, I knew this was coming. Call it waiting for the other shoe to drop. Hey, let's get back together. W what? I mean, <laughs> that's the last thing I expected you to say. Why the change of heart? Everything happened so fast, but now I'm ready. I understand. I often thought about that myself. The timing of it all. I had my own fears that we may have rushed into things initially. So, I understood when you ended things. We'll just call that last time a test run. And now, we're ready for the real deal. That said, 
Anything else you wanted to talk about? Hey, Sophia. I think we should break up. Oh. Well, all good things come to an end, right? It was nice. While it lasted. Oh, Sophia, let's get back together. Uh, I admit, I've been hoping you'd say something like that. But what changed? I miss you. I didn't realize what we had. Oh, it's so good to hear you say that. I, I admit, I was pretty crushed to lose you. But, oddly, I think the space apart did us both some good. It made me realize that I'm not relying on you. And I've really had the chance to regain my identity again. No matter our choice, from here on out, Sophia will give us a daily quest. There's something potentially interesting coming up on the scanner. Is there anything dangerous nearby that I should know about? Picked up some scanner readings. Looks like blood eagles. Sorry, friend. Where am I headed? This place is fortified to some degree. Compact, too. Looks like you'll need to go inside a compound or bunker of some sort to look for this thing. So tell me more about this weapon. Sure. So I was able to pull these details from the scanner's readings. I wish I had more details, but that's about all I could pull from the scanner. And whether we romanced her or not, to accept the quest we have to say anything for you. Oh, you're the best. And not just because we're in an apocalyptic wilderness and my options are heavily limited. I actually mean it. And with that, we begin her ally quest, Space Limitations. Commander Daguerre's scanner detected a signal on some valuable supplies. This is one of five Radiant quests that Sophia can give us. With space limitations, we need to go to a location and retrieve a weapon case. In my experience, we're more likely to get this one than any other. Out of the dozens of times I've done quests for Sophia, I've only gotten two of her other four Radiant quests. Close Encounter, whereby we have to investigate a strange signal, and No Exceptions, where we have to locate and rescue a missing person. The other two are Glitchcraft and Data Driven. Not all of these quests have the same rewards. I've found that you get the best rewards by completing space limitations. We did a lot of exercise training for space flight. Never built muscles like yours, but I sure am glad to observe the results. And as a reward, we get a randomly generated item. Sometimes it's a one star, two star, or three star. I was really lucky the first time I did this on my power armor character, I got a three star instigating lever action rifle which is exactly the kind of weapon I needed. Perfect. Bethesda also recently updated allies in Fallout 76. We now have the option to customize them by dressing them up in a costume of our choice stored in our camp. We can dress up Sophia any way we wish, or we can put her back in her default space outfit by simply unequipping the outfit we put on her. If we killed Athena, Emerson will occasionally come back to our camp. I just wanted to stop by with some peace offerings. That's all. Are these for sale? Seriously? Everybody's got to earn a living somehow, Sophia. You did... so much for Sophia. Don't mind me, I come in peace. Just trying to earn a living. I have managed to collect a few interesting bits and baubles. You're welcome to peruse if you'd like. Just keep doing what you're doing. Stay positive. Just... Stay positive. We all do what we have to do. Oh, this is awkward. I should build a place like this. And he acts as a merchant. Though his inventory isn't that impressive, it's much like the inventories of all the other wandering merchants who can come to our camp. If, however, we saved Athena by putting her in Artemis's body, instead, Athena will visit our camp. Hey, uh, we've got a, uh... Visitor. Athena, is that you? Hello, Subject Daguerre. And greetings to you as well, friend. I have seen many things now, thanks to you. Have you been adventuring? Adventuring. That word makes sense. Yes, I have been adventuring. Not getting in any trouble, are you? Trouble. What is trouble? I was in trouble when I was in Sugar Grove. So, no, I am not getting into trouble. 
Meet anyone interesting? Interesting? Yes. I walked with one named Gram for some time. He taught me about trading. Do you know trading? We know what trading is, yes. Do you have things to trade, Athena? Confirmed. I find things, and we exchange them. For approximately appropriate, but entirely arbitrary, values of things called caps. It is... fair. I like that she has a hobby. We should probably encourage it. I must continually collect more items for trade, so I will only visit sometimes. I wanted you to have the initial selection. This is a thank you. That's sweet of you, Athena. We'll be waiting. And Athena acts as a merchant. We can trade with her, though her inventory is much like all the others. There's so much to see, so much to experience. There is so much sky to process. Another bird, adding to current tally. Bird count increased. The amount of dirt is endless. Endless. So how's Athena getting along in the world? <laughs> she stops by now and then. And she's different every time. More and more enthralled with the world. I'm not exactly sure what her future holds, but oh, she seems incredibly happy to listen to birds or <laughs> collect junk. I don't know. She seems happy. And that is the full story of The Woman Who Fell to Earth, Commander Sophia Daguerre. Next up, we'll be covering some of the new events that come with Fallout 76 Wastelanders, and then moving on to the primary plot of the DLC, the story of Vault 79. I publish new Fallout videos each and every week on my channel, so if you don't want to miss the next one, be sure to subscribe and to click that bell notification button. If you have already and you still feel like you're missing out on YouTube notifications, consider following me on Twitter at Oxhorn. I update Twitter manually with every new piece of content that I publish. I've got a shirt shop with completely unique designs that you can't find anywhere else. My designs come on shirts in a variety of men's, women's, and children's sizes, and in a wide array of colors. You can find them on other products as well, like smartphone cases, pillows, posters, mugs, stickers, prints, etc. So if interested, you can find a link to my shop in the description below, or you can click here. If you like what I do and you want to support me in a more personal way, consider becoming a patron on Patreon or a member here on YouTube. YouTube members and patrons on Patreon are becoming increasingly important as YouTube continues to make platform changes that make the future of YouTube monetization uncertain. So to all my YouTube members and my patrons on Patreon, you have my sincerest thanks. I couldn't do this without you. But more than anything, I'm just so glad you're here watching this video with me today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon with more brand new videos.